This month's recipe is a Lincoln sausage scotch egg with roasted cauliflower and a smoked bacon cream. In this four-part mini-series, we've partnered with top Lincolnshire chef Darren Rogan to create four fantastic dishes that you can create at home. We've teamed up with Neff to showcase some of their amazing appliances. All of the appliances you will see in the videos are on show at our network of six showrooms. So the first element to this dish is to roast the cauliflower. Um, so all I've got is some cauliflower which I've chopped into um, small florets um, onto a tray, a little bit of rapeseed oil just to coat, and then season with some mould and sea salt, give it a little mix around, and then that's going to go into the oven about 180 for approximately 10 minutes. So while that's roasting, uh, the next element would be to boil the eggs. So these eggs have been boiled in water, um, bring the water to the boil, uh, drop the egg in straight out the fridge. I'm using large eggs, um, boil them for six minutes, take them off the stove, um, put them in twice cold water and then uh, peel the eggs. And then once you've got them into that stage, the next stage would be then to wrap it in the meat. So I'm using a um, linker to sausage, um, sausage meat. Uh, so there's 60 grams there. So all I've done to that is I've added a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. So the, uh, the next stage would be to get the sausage meat, put it onto some cling film, and then you're going to wrap that around the egg. So using the cling film, uh, evenly pull it around and work the sausage meat around the egg until it completely covers. And once the egg is completely covered with the sausage meat, remove it from the cling film. And the next stage would be to pan the egg. So we're going to go flour, then egg, then breadcrumbs, back in the egg, and then back in the breadcrumbs. So simply just roll the scotch egg into the flour, and between both your hands, making sure that the most of the flour comes off, but it's nicely, nicely covered. So next stage, we're then to roll it into the into the egg. So when you start using the wet, it's best to try and use one hand for wet only, otherwise you get in a bit of a mess. And again, with the, with the egg, roll it around until most of the egg comes off, but it is nicely covered. Into the breadcrumbs. Using your other hand, making sure you're rolling it around. Back into the egg for the second time. Again, making sure you get most of the egg off, so it's just nicely covered. Back into the breadcrumbs. So the next stage would be to uh, fry the egg. So the fry is set up on 160 degrees uh, and this will get fried for six minutes. So the next stage while the uh, scotch eggs cooking in the fryer is to make the sauce. So in a little small pan, get the pan, start warming through. And all I've got here is some diced shallots. So about half a diced shallot, uh, as fine as possible. Some fresh chicken stock. So probably about 50 ml of fresh chicken stock. And then I've got some um, smoked bacon. So I've used a dry cure smoked bacon, just for the flavour, it's an oak smoke. Um, so all I've done is cook that in the oven uh, until it's semi-crispy and then as finely shredded as possible. So that's streaky bacon that I've used. And all we're gonna do that is bring the chicken stock to the boil and reduce it down probably by half. And as the chicken stock's reduced by half, um, add the cream. 
And again, bring that to the boil and reduce that down slightly as well. And then six minutes later, the scotch egg, if you leave it out, take it out of the oil and leave it for a few minutes just to rest through to get the heat to go through to the center. Now your cream's reduced slightly. Uh, finish off with some chopped chives, chopped parsley. And season it with a pinch of salt. So after about 10 minutes, the cauliflower is nicely roasted. So the next stage is, would be to, is to plate it up. So to plate the dish, all we're gonna do is put the, uh, the sauce on the bottom, making sure you're getting loads of that nice smoked bacon and plenty of the sauce. The scotch egg, we're gonna simply slice in half. And then again, just a little bit of sea salt, just to season. And then some of the roasted cauliflower. And then to finish, just some watercress to garnish. And that's it. If you'd like to find out more information about our products or services, please get in touch or visit one of our showrooms for more information.